practically speaking all the steps which are performed for dna sequencing using sequenase enzyme they are more or less similar with any other method used for dna sequencing using any other type of dna polymerase like tag polymerase or clinov enzyme in sab mein hame ek taraf to labeled mixer ready karna hai dusri taraf hame primer annealing karke ek annealed mixer banana hai aur teesri taraf char tubes ka ek set leke chalna hai that is kind of termination reaction so the first step we are going to talk about sequencing is to anneal the primers with the template dna agar single stranded dna hai to hamare paas denaturation ke step ki zarurat nahi hai agar double stranded dna hai to denaturation ka step chahiye taaki dono strand separate ho jaye aur hamara primer jo hai anneal kar sake template strands ke sath for that purpose single stranded dna template by this method we are going to use 1 microliter oligonucleotide primer 3 microliter 5 times sequenase reaction buffer 2 microliter containing either magnesium chloride or manganese chloride and the volume is made up to 10 microliter using water dusre step mein we are going to incubate this annealing mixture at 65 degree centigrade for 2 minutes and after 2 minutes this mixture has to be cooled down at room temperature for 3 to 5 minutes in 3 se 5 minute ke time period mein what we can do we can thaw the 5x labeling buffer that is ddntp extension termination mixtures and store them at ice on ice for further usage Two point five microliter of each DDNTP extension mixture is shifted to a separate point five mL tube. यहाँ से हम एक दूसरा step की तरफ चल पड़ेंगे जिसमें चार reaction tubes हमें set up करनी है और उसको उसी तरह label करेंगे A tube, G tube, C tube and T tube. and each of that tube is going to get 2.5 microliter of ddntp extension mixture and this extension mixture termination mixture should be dropped on the wall of the tube a five fold dilution is made using of the 5x labeling mixture in ice cold water that is 1 to 5 ratio 1 microliter of the labeling mixture and 5 uh, 4 microliter is going to be the ice cold water uske baad hum isme 2 2 microliter diluted labeling mixture jo hai is required for each template sequenced that means we are going to use it for four tubes agar template ek hai do hai teen hai accordingly hame volume decide karna hai 2 microliter is required for one sample now the time for diluting the enzyme for dilution of the enzyme sequenase which is going to be diluted by using sequenase dilution buffer which is ice cold now at this step we can decide whether we have to add pyrophosphate or not because pyrophosphate is an optional enzyme required during dna sequencing Now proceed further with the third type of reaction in the sequencing process which is the labeling reaction for labeling reaction labeling means we are going to use the radioactively labeled nucleotide and for that purpose we are going to use 10 microliter of the annealing reaction jo ke humne step number 2 pe prepare kiya tha template dna ko use karte hue primer ko use karte hue jo prepare kiya tha usme se 10 microliter hum jo hai wo मिक्स करेंगे विद डाइल्यूटेड लेबलिंग मिक्सचर जो कि हमने स्टेप नंबर फाइव पर प्रिपेयर किया है टू माइक्रोलीटर इज यूज्ड 
0.1 molar DTT, 1 microliter is used, radio labeled nucleotide that could be P33 labeled, P32 labeled or S35 labeled DATP, any one of these 0.5 microliter is used, diluted enzyme sequinase 1.6 units per microliter, 2 microliter is going to be mixed up. After mixing, we gently tap it so that things become all the ingredients, they become mixed and we are going to incubate this mixture, this reaction for 2 to 5 minutes at 20 degrees centigrade. This step we can say that basically we are going to do the brief polymerization so that the uh, radio labeled nucleotide becomes incorporated at the start of the polymerization near the primer and just like we have talked about 20 100 nucleotide tak hum ye labeling karte hain then we proceed towards the termination reaction termination is done by pre warming the labeled microfuge tubes wahi char tubes jinko hum a g c t tubes kehte hain unko pre warm karenge 37 degree centigrade pe this is important because temperature difference will be there and reaction can go wrong you cannot be any fruitful results uh, producing after pre-warming, we are going to transfer 3.5 microliter of the labeling reaction to the wall of the tubes. Now, we have to remember that the mixture is that our mixture, labeled mixture, that is radioactive. So, proper protection is required to handle uh, this radioactively labeled mixture. And it is shifted to the pre-warmed uh, label tubes and then is going to be centrifuged in a microfuge so that all the components of this tube they are going to be mixed up the centrifugation is done for 2000 rpm just few seconds and then we shift these four tubes over a heating block or water bath for three to five minutes at 37 degrees centigrade now this incubation is basically going to extend the labeled primer and is going to give us the different length of newly synthesized DNA strands. After the incubation period is done, we are going to stop the reaction by adding 4 microliter of formamide loading buffer and then we have two choices. Either store these buffers or store these four reactions at minus 20 degree centigrade up to 5 days for further usage. 5 days ke baad they cannot be used, the results cannot be reliable. Or the second choice is we proceed further for sequencing gel by heat denaturation, which we do at 100 degrees centigrade. We will keep 2 minutes for 2 minutes. We will do quick cooling on the ice and take 3 microliter sample and we will gel electrophoresis. And as you are seeing in the gel, the arrangement of these bands are different. That tells us the sequence of our nucleotides like this is going to be the first nucleotide in the uh, DNA strand then the second one third one four five six this is like we are stepping up on a ladder that from the bottom we have to read the bands just like stepwise manner and we can make up the DNA sequence in this way by numbering these bands, we can write down the sequence and that is the sequence of our DNA which we just was using for sequencing.